In this video, let's see another important property of the topic of property of determinants that we have been studying so far. The property is property number 5. Previous 4 properties are important to watch and understand for understanding this property. In this video, we are going to see property number 5. Now this property is actually what? It just tells me something about the sum of elements. Suppose you have a determinant wherein the elements are such that they can be summed up together. Then what happens is you can also classify that determinant into two sub-determinants. That is what is said. Now before reading everything, let's first understand with the help of theoretical analysis and then we'll read upwards what is written, right? So we are starting with a determinant and that determinant that I am going to take up is basically a1 plus lambda1. It has the elements in the form which can be expressed as the sum of a's and lambdas and it is b1, b2, b3, c1, c2, c3. Then if this is the case, according to this property, what happens is you can classify it as the sum of two determinants. Two determinants such that a1, a2, a3, b1, b2, b3, c1, c2, c3 are there, the first thing. The second thing, lambda1, lambda2, lambda3, lambda1, lambda2, lambda3. Then again what will happen is b1, b2, b3, c1, c2, c3. Now, it is not lambda 1 plus lambda 2, so let's make this change, that plus will not be followed. Now, you have to verify this thing. You have to verify that the result obtained by evaluating this determinant is equal to the result obtained by evaluating the sum of these two determinants. So, let's evaluate this determinant and then we'll evaluate these and then we will equate and see whether these are equated or not. These can be equated or not, right? So what happens in this determinant? In this particular determinant, you see if you expand along the row 1, you have what? You have a1 plus lambda 1 as the first element. And since this is the first element to evaluate along this element, you have to ignore the first row and the first column. And you have a sub-determinant. This we have already studied in our previous videos how to evaluate it. It is b2, b3, c2, c3 and it becomes b2, c3 minus b3 c2 right because you have to cross multiply now similarly when you take about this second element you are evaluating along the first row so now it is the turn of the second element this second element is what it is minus a2 plus lambda 2 why minus because we follow plus minus plus this we know right so a2 plus lambda 2 and then again you have a bracket you have to ignore the second column, you have to ignore the first row, you are left with what? B1, B3, C1, C3. B1, B3, C1, C3 means cross multiply, it becomes something like this. Because B1 multiplied by C3 because B3 multiplied by C1. Now last but not the least is your third element. The third element is A3 plus lambda 3. So it becomes plus A3 plus lambda 3. And next, what is the case? The case is that again you have to evaluate it. So you have to ignore the third column. Ignore the first row. You are left with B1, B2, C1, C2. So cross multiply it is B1, C2 minus B2, C1. Right? Now what is to be done? Now again expansion is to be done. Multiplying these things together. Then multiplying the lambda things also together. Similarly in the second factor, similarly in the third factor. Now let's evaluate it here so that you get enough space to write. It is A1 multiplied by B2 C3 minus B3 C2. Lambdas we'll write later on. Next here downwards is A2 multiplied by these things. So what is it? It is A2 plus A2 multiplied by b1 c3 minus b3 c1 so it is b1 c3 minus b3 c1 right last but not the least it is plus a3 and you see for a2 we had minus there we have written plus let's make this change it should be minus not plus so it is minus 
Last but not the least, you have A3 multiplied by B1 C2 minus B3 C1. B1 C2 minus B3 C1. Lambda is a left, don't ignore. Plus lambda 1 into the same thing. So plus lambda 1 into B2 C3 minus B3 C2, right? Then minus lambda 2 into the same factor. The same factor is what? It is B1 C3 minus B3 C1. Last but not the least, you have again a plus sign plus lambda 3 and the whole story B1 C2 minus B3 C1, right? You see, we have just calculated things and one thing I need to tell you that it is lambda 3 multiplied by B1 C2 minus B2 C1. Here also it should be B2 C1 and not B3 C1. So this change you have to make. Now what have we done till now? Let's see. We have done that we have this determinant and we have expanded it and after expansion you saw that you get these many terms. Now, if you needed to expand these two determinants also, what would the result be? I am not showing it, I am just explaining it orally. Please pay more attention now. If you expand along the first row, it would be A1, ignoring, ignoring, worst row, first column, B2, C3 minus B3, C2, the same thing. Then you have minus A2, you have minus A2, ignoring, ignoring, that is second row and first column, you have B1, C3 minus B3, C1, which is here. Similarly, about this A3, so this first row that you are getting here will be the result of this determinant also. Now, what about the second determinant? You have lambda 1, ignoring first row, ignoring first column, you have B2, C3 minus B3, C2, the same thing. You understand now, it is minus lambda 2. Again, ignoring and ignoring, second column in the first row, you have B1, C3 minus B3, C1. And similarly for lambda 3. That means what? That means the result of this determinant is same as the result of this determinant. That means you can always split the determinants in this manner, if the sum is there. Now, let's read what was written. It was written that if sum or all elements of a row, you saw that all the elements of this row, or a column, had it been the case of the column, the same thing would have applied. Of a determinant are expressed as a sum of, as a sum means addition, as a sum, as a sum, as a sum of two or more terms, what happens is, then the determinant can be, then what happens if the sum is there, determinant can be expressed as the sum of two or more determinants. If there are two terms added up, you can get two determinants. If there is three terms added up, you can get three determinants and so on. So in this video, we saw a property based on determinants. I named it as property number 5.